Hello and welcome to the second part of this video, the uh, Temple Sounds instruction for bowls, and basic instruction so you can get the most sound out of your bowls and with the most pleasant uh, experience playing them. So first of all, we'll start out with a smaller bowl. And you have a choice. You can use the leather part of the mallet which is on this side, or the wood side. Starting with the wood. Has a nice high sound and a clearing sound. Then you play with the leather side and you have a mellower sound. It's important to keep the ball in the flat of the hand and not grip it like this because you're not going to get too much sound doing that. So keep the fingers off the bow if possible, especially the thumb. If you need portability, you're going to the beach, climbing a mountain, go for the smaller stick on the smaller bowls. This is your standard stick, but this is your portable small one for tiny bowls and small bowls if you don't want to carry a lot of weight with you. Same thing, a leather and a wood side. So you have two options, plain wise. And you want to just go as fast as you need to to produce the sound. No faster, no slower. If I go too slow, the sound will peter out. If I go too fast, it becomes discordant. So you want to find that nice circular motion and just the right amount of pressure to produce that sound. Moving on to a medium-sized bowl, it's more stable on the pillow, but I'll hold it because it's always a little easier to play in the hand than it is on the floor or on a pillow. And for these medium-sized bowls, you can play a regular mallet. Or if you like, you can go larger, which produces a little bit more uh, resonant sound and a warmer sound. Same thing with the wood side of the mallet. The white soft wood will produce a mellower wood sound than the hardwood teak, which has a little more edge to it. You can also play a larger mallet if you don't want to expend too much energy because it has so much weight to it that it will almost produce a sound all on its own. But you have to hold a little more weight, but you don't have to press, press the mallet in as hard. 
to produce that sound. And with the medium-sized bowls, it's not uh, that critical that you hold it in a specific manner, because even with the thumb on it, it will still produce a sound. It's very hard to muffle it unless you really try. And moving on to a larger bowl, we move on to a larger stick. The larger stick will produce sound more effortlessly on the bowl. Or even a slightly smaller stick. And using the wood side, we get more of the highs. You can also hold the ball. And it gives a little bit more of a control over the sound. We have three basic sizes of bowls, small, medium, and large. There's also another size, the giant, and a little tiny bowl size, but for our purposes here, these are your three basic sizes. And usually the smaller mallets are used for the smaller bowl, medium sized mallet for the medium sized bowl, and the larger size mallet for the larger bowls. It just makes life easier. Same with this type of mallet. Small, medium size, this one too, or larger. You can also use the medium, even on this, but it rocks the bow a little bit if it's too small. We also have a hard mallet, which produces a high tone on your smaller bowls. You can use it on the bigger ones too, if you want a little bit different sound than this. So this will produce your high tone, and this will produce a lower tone. because the head is a softer cotton, and this has a hard rubber over a threaded uh, onto a rattan stick. And this is a wood stick with a soft cloth head on it, producing your softer tone. And when we're talking about support for the balls, basically you have your large pillows and your medium sized pillows, and also your smaller ones, but they're lower. So if you want your bowls to be held up higher, use uh, the bigger pillows. You'll go about three inches on it, whatever, something like that. And your smaller pillow, just an inch or two. Your other option is rings. in all four sizes for all different types of bowls. Usually these rings will suffice, but if you want the least amount of contact on the bowl, use the smaller ones for that size bowl. But generate the large ring for the large bowl, medium sized ring for the medium bowl, 
and a smaller ring for your uh, smaller balls. And the ring will hold that ball lower than the uh, pillow will. So if you want it low to the ground, use the ring. And the ring also is lighter than the pillow, takes up less space. If you want your maximum portability, portability use uh, one of the rubber uh, steady rings. We have them in three sizes, one, uh, one for the small ball, and the next size up for the medium, and then the biggest one for the large. These have the advantage of holding the bowl as low to the ground as you can get. It will also hold it steady on glass or wood, so you don't need a carpet, whereas uh, the other cloth rings tend to uh, slide around a bit on uh, glass or wood, especially when you're spinning the bowl. So these also take up way less space. If you have a lot of bowls and you, you just carry a bunch of these and you're playing on a wood floor, or you can even use these if uh, you want a little bit more steady, steadiness on your pillow. If that bowl is spinning around a bit when you're, when you're doing this, if you spin it on a pillow, if it's spinning around as it sometimes does on the uh, uh, a cloth, the uh, ring will stabilize it when used in conjunction with the pillow or the, or the, uh, the cloth ring. So that is another way to do it. Regarding uh, mallets, we also have these uh, thick monk's wool, monk's wool cloth on it for a nice sound. It's only meant for hitting though. It will not produce a sound going round like that. And the smaller ones, for the uh, smaller bowls and the bigger one for these but this big one here is usually just for the uh, large bowls so basically you know as far as mallets go it's three sizes for the, your regular standard half leather half wood sticks it's two sizes for your wool mallets bunch of different sizes and more for your uh, bowl strikers and your large mallets come in uh, different sizes too and varieties so there you have it I hope you learned something about bowls today and have a more pleasant experience playing your bowls with this information provided. Thank you.